For this lesson, I'm using the project file 0502 trim clips in the program monitor. And you'll find that project file in with the media associated with this lesson. Double click on it to open it in Premiere Pro. If you want to get really precise with your trimming, you can use the trim mode in the program monitor. And let's take a look. If I single click on the end of a clip, when I have this red arrow cursor, I get a trim handle. But if I double click, the program monitor changes mode. This is the trim mode. And in this mode, you can click directly into the picture to trim your clips. What's nice about this is that you have a large area to click on. And you can see I've got a red arrow anywhere in this image. I can drag, release the mouse, and I've trimmed. The right hand side of the screen's gone dark now because of course I've left a gap. I'm gonna click and drag to the right. And you'll notice I haven't let go of the mouse yet at the bottom of the program monitor, it says trim blocked on video one. That's because there's a clip in the way. When I release the mouse, you can see we actually filled the gap and we can't trim any further because this forest shot is in the way. I'll just go back in by double clicking on the end of this clip. And you'll notice I can drag on the right side of the program monitor as well. I actually think I trimmed the entire clip out of existence there. There's just a gap on the timeline. So I'm going to undo with Control Z or Command Z to bring it back. If I click on the middle between the two images in the program monitor, well, you can see that familiar cursor. As I drag, I'm adjusting both clips. Notice as well, if I now click on the left side of the program monitor, I've got a yellow arrow, not a red arrow. The yellow trim cursor indicates that it's going to be a ripple trim. I'll just click and drag, and you can see everything moves on the timeline. Let's try this with a longer clip. I'll double click to go into the trim mode, and up in the program monitor, I'll choose the rolling trim, and now I've got that yellow arrow on the left. You can see a dramatic change on the timeline. Everything moves to fill the gap. I'll just undo that again. You can switch trim modes in the program monitor by holding the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac OS while you click in the picture. There. Just under these images in the program monitor, we've got some precise adjustment controls. So here I can trim one frame at a time or five. I can also add frames. You can exit the trim mode by clicking anywhere in the background of the timeline. Here I'm clicking on a blank track. Editors develop a preference over time for one way of editing or another, and all approaches are valid. Sometimes you'll trim on the timeline, and sometimes you'll use the program monitor. As long as you get the results you want, you're fine. And you can always undo if you need to, so feel free to experiment.